Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet this everyday market bag, which you can see here in the photo in front of you as well if you head on over to my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. You will find some more photos there as well as the free written instructions for this pattern. You'll find a direct link for you there in the description of this video. So this is the market bag that we're going to make today. I have my sample, which you can't see all of here in the video, but it is there for you. I'm working this market bag in the Pima Cotton by Lion Brand Yarn. This is it here in the color of pewter. And uh, it's a worsted weight cotton. It's super soft, 100%, uh, which is what I recommend that you make your market bags in. Uh, it's just a little bit more durable and uh, has a little bit more uh, stability to it. So I'll be using this for this market bag. You're going to need four different colors if you'd like to use the same color scheme as I am. Today my color A will be this pewter color and you're going to need about 150 yards. My color B is going to be this peachy color called Mademoiselle. You'll need 120 yards. Color C, I'm going to use this uh, rain cloud color and you're going to need about 120 yards of your color C. And then color D, I'll use this stone color and you're going to need about 120 yards of the stone color. Uh, all together you're going to need about, let me see here, uh, 510 yards to make this market bag, probably a little bit less. Um, as well, you're going to need a 5 millimeter crochet hook, and links for both of these items can also be found in the description of the video. If you're joining me today for the marvelous market bag crochet long, welcome. I hope that you have fun uh, during this event, and if you're new to the crochet long, Again, there's a direct link in the description of this video, which will give you all the details about, uh, about the event. So thank you so much for joining me. Let's grab our hooks and our yarn and learn how to crochet this everyday market bag. Our market bag patterns today are worked from the bottom up. So we're going to start down here with our bottom. They are worked in rounds. So we're going to start by making a slip knot. And then you're going to chain four. Now one thing to note in the bottom of the market bag, the chain three at the beginning of each round does count as a double crochet stitch. For round one, you're going to begin by working 11 double crochet stitches into that fourth chain from your hook. So in that very first chain, work 11 double crochets. Your chain three will count as a stitch, so in the total at the end of this round, you're going to have a total of 12 double crochet stitches. This is 9, 10, and 11. So now including your chain 3 there at the beginning, you should have 12 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Once you have worked your 11 double crochets, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that starting chain 3. For round two, you're going to begin by chaining three, and then working one double crochet stitch into the same chain as joining. 
So including that chain three, you'll have two stitches coming out of that first stitch. You're then going to work two double crochet stitches in each chain all the way around. At the end of this round, you'll have a total of 24 stitches. And you can join with a slip stitch at the top of your starting chain three. At the end of your round two, you're joining with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch and you're ready to begin round three. For round three, you're going to chain three and into that next stitch, work two double crochet stitches. So you have your chain three coming out from the same stitches joining, then into the next stitch, work two double crochets. Double crochet, one double crochet into the next stitch, followed by two double crochets into the next. You're going to repeat that all the way around. Work one double crochet into the next stitch, followed by two double crochets into the next. At the end of round three, you're joining in the same stitch, or in the first stitch, your chain three. And at the end of round three, you should have a total of 36 stitches. For round four, you're going to chain three, which counts as a stitch. Double crochet, work one double crochet into the next stitch. And followed by two double crochets into the next. Next, work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches, followed by two double crochets into the next. You're going to repeat that all the way around. Work one double crochet in each of the next two stitches, followed by two double crochets into the next. Repeat all the way around, join with the slip stitch in the top of your first stitch, and at the end of this round you should have 48 stitches. For round five, you're going to chain three and work one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. Next, work two double crochets into the next stitch. Followed by one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. You're going to repeat that all the way around. Two double crochets into the next stitch, followed by one double crochet into each of the next three stitches. Continue all the way around at the end of this round, you will have a total of 60 stitches and you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. For round six, you're going to chain three 
work one double crochet into each of the next three stitches followed by two double crochets into the next stitch Next, work one double crochet into each of the next four stitches. Followed by two double crochets into the next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around. One double crochet into each of the next four stitches followed by two double crochets into the next stitch. At the end of this round, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and you should have a total of 72 stitches. For round seven, you're going to chain three and work one double crochet into each of the next four stitches. You will have noticed by now that we are increasing each round by 12 stitches. So your circle will be growing larger and larger. Next, after you've double crocheted in each of the next four stitches, you're going to work two double crochet stitches into the next stitch. Next, work one double crochet into each of the next five stitches. and two double crochets into the next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around one double crochet into each of the next five stitches, followed by two double crochets into the next stitch, and at the end of this round you're going to have a total of 84 double crochet stitches. You can then join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. For round eight, you're going to chain three. You're going to double crochet, work one double crochet into each of the next five stitches. and then two double crochets into your next stitch. Next, work one double crochet into each of the next six stitches. and two double crochets into the next. You're going to repeat that all the way around. Join with the slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and at the end of this round you will have a total of 96 stitches. For round nine Actually first I need to join with the slip stitch in the top of my first stitch from round eight. And then round nine you're going to chain three, work one double crochet into each of the next six stitches. and then two double crochets into your next stitch. Next, work 
one double crochet into each of the next seven stitches followed by two double crochets into the next stitch you're then going to repeat that all the way around join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and at the end of this round you will have 108 stitches in total for round 10 you're going to chain 3 and work one double crochet into each of the next seven stitches next work two double crochets into the next stitch followed by one double crochet into each of the next eight stitches you're going to repeat that all the way around two double crochet stitches into the next stitch followed by one double crochet into each of the next eight stitches uh, join with the slip stitch in that first stitch once you come all the way around at the end of this round you'll have a total of 100 and 20 stitches at the end of round 10 your uh, you should have a fairly large circle there in front of you. Uh, it's going to measure, let me see here, approximately 11 inches across. Okay, so at this point we're done our increase rounds. For rounds 11 and 12, you are going to chain one single crochet into each stitch all the way around so beginning with that first stitch single crochet and then single crochet into each stitch all the way around when you come back to the beginning join with a slip stitch in your first stitch chain one and uh, and work that round 12 at the end of round 12 we are going to switch to our color B and uh, I will show you how I like to change colors um, at that time so go ahead work two rounds of single crochet stitches in each stitch all the way around join with a slip stitch chain one single crochet in each stitch and uh, then meet me back here at the end of round 12 at the end of round 12 of your bag bottom you should have a nice fairly large circle here um, I've come to the final stitch of my round 12 and as I mentioned I'm going to want to switch to my color B so to switch to my color B I'm going to insert my hook into this last stitch on the round yarn over and drop my loop working in my color A I'm then going to drop the color A, pick up my color B, place it on my hook, and pull through. This is a great color change that you can use for any project or anywhere where you need to add a new ball of yarn. Pull those two ends a little bit tight, and uh, you're all set to go in your color B. You can then join with a slip stitch in the top of the stitch on that first round, like so. You're all set then to begin round 13 of your bag body. 
For round 13, with color B, you're going to chain one, and then single crochet into that same stitch as joining, and then into each stitch all the way around. When you come to that first stitch, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of round 13, join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. For round 14, you're going to chain 4, and your chain 4 will count as a treble stitch. You're then going to work one treble or triple stitch, however you prefer to call it, in each stitch all the way around. So yarn over twice, into the next stitch, insert your hook, yarn over, draw through, yarn over, draw through two loops three times for your treble stitch. You're going to do that in each stitch all the way around. When you come back to the beginning, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your chain four. At the end of round 14, join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. For round 15, you're going to chain one, single crochet into the same stitch as joining, and then single crochet into each stitch all the way around. At the end of round 15, you're going to want to switch to your color C. So go ahead, single crochet into each stitch all the way around, change to your color C and join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. At the end of round 15, you're joining uh, you are joining on a new color. So into your final stitch of that round, insert your hook, yarn over and draw through. Place your new color on your hook and draw through both loops. With your color C ready to go, you can join with a slip stitch into that first stitch, chain one, and you're ready to begin row 16. With row 16, with your color C, you're going to single crochet in the same stitch as joining, and then single crochet into each stitch all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into that first stitch, and uh, you're ready to begin your row 17. For round 17, you're going to chain four, which counts as a treble stitch. And then you're going to work one treble stitch in each stitch all the way around. When you come all the way back around to your chain four, you can then join with a slip stitch into the top of that starting chain. For round 18, you're going to chain one single crochet into that first stitch and then single crochet into each stitch all the way around. At the end of your round 18, you're going to switch over to your color D in the final stitch and then join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. I am here at the end of round 18, joining my color D into my final stitch. Once you've joined, you can join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. For round 19, you're going to chain one single crochet into the same stitch as joining and then just as you did down below single crochet in each stitch all the way around when you come to that first stitch you can join with a slip stitch into that first stitch for round 20 
you're going to continue working with your color D, chain 4, which counts as a stitch, and then you're going to treble stitch in each stitch all the way around. Once you come back to your starting chain 4, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that starting chain. For round 21, we're going to chain 1 and single crochet into the same stitch as joining and then single crochet into each stitch all the way around. At the end of your round 21, you can switch back to your color B and join with a slip stitch into the first stitch. At the end of round 21, you've switched back to your color B and then a join with a slip stitch and then you're all ready to continue. Now for the rest of the bag, market bag body, what you are going to do is you are going to repeat rounds 13 through to 21 twice. So starting down here at your first round in your color B, you're going to repeat this section here two more times. And then at the end of your round, uh, your second repeat, uh, in total it would be the third repeat of round 21, you're going to switch back to your color A so that you can work the top of your bag and the handles. So go ahead, work rounds 13 through to round 21 two more times and uh, meet me back here and we will uh, finish our bag. So once you have worked uh, rounds 13 through to 21 twice more, you should have a bag that looks like this and I've switched to another one here that I was working on. So you're essentially going to have three sets of your three main colors here. And then you're going to switch back to your color A or to whatever color you would like. You're then going to, for the next four rounds, using your new color, you're going to single crochet in the same stitch as joining and then into each stitch all the way around. So go ahead, work four rounds of single crochet stitches all in your new color and then meet me back here and we will begin the handles of your bag. So four rounds of single crochet at the end of each round you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch and then continue on. Once you have worked your four rounds of single crochet stitches at the top of your bag, there's no need to fasten off and you're ready to begin the handles for your bag. Now both of the handles are worked the exact same way, so I'll show you how to make the one and uh, how to get the second one started and then leave you to it. So to make your first handle, you're already joined down here with a slip stitch in your first stitch. You're going to, for your first row, go ahead and chain 50 chains. There's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Once you have your chain worked, 
You're going to count along your market bag and you're going to count and then skip 29 stitches. So starting in the next stitch, count 29 stitches. There's 10, 20, 29, and then into your next stitch, insert your hook and join with a slip stitch. Like so. Now turning your bag so that you're working between the two places where your handle joins, you're going to turn your bag and slip stitch into the next stitch. I'm going to make that loop a little smaller. There we go. You now want to work along this chain, which was your first row, and you're going to now work one single crochet stitch into each stitch all along the chain. So work, I like to work in my back bumps of my stitches, so it gives me a nice finished edge on the other side but you're going to go ahead and work one single crochet stitch into each stitch all the way along your chain. You'll have 50 single crochet stitches at the end. At the end of that second row of single crochet stitches there, so you have your uh, chain row, single crochet row, on the opposite side of the bag and again working in between uh, the two handles where they join or the one handle where the two ends join you're going to slip stitch on your bag in each of the next three stitches so here's my joining slip stitch into the first next stitch and then do that two more times you're then going to turn your work and for your next row, you're going to begin in that first stitch and you're going to double crochet into each stitch all the way along. So double crochet into each stitch all the way along your handle. Again, you'll have 50 double crochet stitches. At the end of the double crochet row, again make sure that you're working between the two handles. On the market bag you're going to skip the next two stitches and slip stitch into each of the next two stitches. So slip stitch in that first stitch which will join the double crochet and then slip stitch into the next stitch. Turn your work and you're going to single crochet into each stitch all the way across and then join with a slip stitch in the next stitch on the other side of your market bag. So single crochet into each stitch all the way across. At the end of your final single crochet row, you can join with a slip stitch into that uh, next stitch on your bag. You can then um, fasten off and then weave in your ends. So that's the first handle on your market bag complete. Now you're going to want to go across and start the second handle. So to do that, from where you joined the first handle, you're going to count across 29 stitches. There's 20, 29, into the next stitch. Uh, 
grab some more yarn and join your yarn with a slip stitch. You are now going to repeat the instructions there that you worked for uh, the previous handle starting with your chain 50, count and skip 29 stitches, join on the other side, work a row of single crochet, a row of double crochet, and then another of single crochet, join and fasten off, weave in your ends, and your everyday market bag will be complete. So thank you so much for joining me and uh, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope that you enjoy your market bag even more. Be sure to come back again soon and uh, until then, happy crocheting. Bye. <music>